So we're simplifying a sum or difference of two polynomials. So let's start with a simple example, 3x squared y plus 5x squared y. And we can combine these because they are like terms because they have the same variables with the same exponents. So in order to combine these, you wanna add the coefficients, which are three and five. So we get eight, and then we write x squared y. And that's it, that's all you can do. Don't change the exponents, don't change the variables, just add or subtract the coefficients. So our next example here, we have parentheses, negative three c cubed plus five c squared minus seven c, close parentheses, plus parentheses, 11 c cubed plus six c squared plus three, close parentheses. So we do have some like terms. I'm going to circle them. We have negative three c cubed and 11 c cubed, those are alike. We want to add the coefficients, negative 3 plus 11, or in other words, 11 minus 3, and we get 8 c cubed. Then we have positive 5 c squared and positive 6 c squared. Add your coefficients, 5 and 6, so that gives us plus 11 c squared. Now, minus 7c does not have a like term, so I'm just going to write minus 7c. And then plus 3 does not have a like term, so plus 3. And that's our final answer. You cannot simplify any further because, remember, you have to have the same variable and same exponent. So that's as far as we can go. Now, if we look at the next example, we have parentheses 4w squared minus 2x, close parentheses, plus parentheses 3w squared minus 4x squared plus 6x, close parentheses. Now this time I'm actually going to uh, solve this a little bit different. So I have 4w squared minus 2x. And then in the second group, I have some like terms. The 3w squared, I'm gonna write that underneath the 4w squared. Then minus 4x squared, I'm going to write that off to the side. And then plus 6x, I'm going to write that underneath the minus 2x. Okay, so basically all I've done was organize my work vertically so that I can actually see what my like terms in those columns. So if I look at the first column, I have 4w squared plus 3w squared and that gives me 7w squared. And if I look at the second column, that's minus 2x plus 6x, or 6 minus 2 gives me plus 4x. And if I look at the third column, there's just the minus 4x squared. Okay, if you want, you can leave your answer like that. Or you can write it in standard form, which would be 7w squared, minus 4x squared plus 4x. All right, before we do some subtraction examples, let's just remember what it means to be the opposite. So if you have 5x, the opposite of 5x is negative 5x. If you have 3a minus 4b minus c, the opposite is found by taking each term and basically flipping the sign. You have 3a, which will be, for the opposite is negative 3a, minus 4b goes to plus 4b, minus c goes to plus c. And then for c, 5.5y to the fourth minus 2.4y cubed plus 1.1y. The opposite of that will be negative 5.5y to the fourth plus 2.4y cubed minus 1.1y. Essentially, I just flip the sign of each of the terms and that gives you your opposite.
is just a definition. Okay, so we have the example parentheses negative 4p to the fourth plus 5p squared minus 3 close parentheses minus parentheses 11p squared plus 4p minus 6 close parentheses. So here we have minus this group. And when you say minus something, it's the same as saying add the opposite. So if I'm saying minus 11p squared plus 4p minus 6, the opposite will be negative 11p squared, negative 4p, positive 6. You're distributing the negative sign across the addition and subtraction. And now I'm actually going to show my like terms by writing this in columns. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the first group. We have negative 4p to the fourth plus 5p squared. I'm going to leave the little space here and put minus 3. The second group minus the 11p squared. I'm going to write that under the 5p squared. Then the opposite of 4p will be minus 4p. And then the opposite of minus 6 will be plus 6. Okay, notice how again I've organized my work into columns. So the first column, I have 4p, negative 4p to the fourth. Second column, I have plus 5p squared minus 11p squared, which gives us minus 6p squared. The third column, you just have the minus 4p. And then our last column, we have negative 3 plus 6, which gives us plus 3. And there's our final answer. Let's try one more. We have parentheses a squared minus 2ab plus 7b squared, close parentheses, minus parentheses, negative 8a squared minus 6ab plus 2b squared, close parentheses. So again, when you're subtracting a group or even just one term, you're essentially saying add the opposite. And so what will be the opposite of negative 8a squared? It will be plus, oh, I want blue, there we go, plus 8a squared. All right, what will be the opposite of minus 6ab? Plus 6ab, the opposite of plus 2b squared, minus 2b squared. And notice how I just uh, wrote my terms underneath the first group. So now we can simplify each column. a squared plus 8a squared is 9a squared. Minus 2ab plus 6ab is plus 4ab. That's this column. And then our last column, we have plus 7b squared minus 2b squared is plus 5b squared. You can leave the answer like that. 